Well, welcome back, everyone. Well, you know, in our never-ending fight to find unusual and great things that go on in our communities, we've got one, and it's also related to music, which everybody here loves. So joining me today is Steve Farnham. Steve is a committee chair of the Boston Spa Concert Series in the Park, or the Concerts in the Park Series in Boston Spa. I knew I'd get that right eventually. You got it. <laughs> so welcome, Steve. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Uh, we all love music. Music's yes. universal. And for several years now, on Thursday nights, in the park, right off of Front Street in Balsam Spa, you've been putting on some pretty interesting music. Yes. Uh, Wiswall Park in Balsam Spa. Mm -hmm. uh, free concerts every Thursday evening from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to have a diverse lineup. Mm -hmm. You know, a little something for everybody, right. family friendly. Yes. You know, bring your lawn chairs, your family and your friends. And yeah, it's one of the more popular events we have in, in Boston Spa. Everybody loves it. Oh, it truly is. And if you want to know what we're talking about, about a variety, it, everything from marching bands to Beatle tribute bands to some of the best original bands in our community. And uh, I, get, I just set you up for that. But what, uh, tell us about this marching band that's coming in. It's, I think it's tonight, right? Yes, yeah. tonight. Uh, it's in conjunction with our ice cream social. Mm -hmm. You know, free music, free ice cream. <laughs> uh, the Union Fire Company Marching Band, that's tonight. Okay. So what do they do? Uh, they, they, play, they play their music, you know, marching band music, uh, which, again, it's very different from a lot of the other entertainment that we have for concerts in the park. You know, in conjunction with the ice cream thing, you know, just... I think if you're listening to marching band music, you're going to be eating that ice cream pretty fast, right? They're going, yeah. to, go, they're going to go through a lot of ice cream. Sure, definitely. <laughs> uh, one uh, that's coming up, and anybody who knows uh, me and the people here, there's a really great Beatles tribute band coming in. I, I think they're from Massachusetts, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Studio Two. Studio Two. Uh, they're fantastic. We had them last year. Mm -hmm. We got a very good response. You know, it's music that... it's. Music that's very important to people, that means a lot to people. Yes. And these guys do it justice. They mm -hmm. come in full character in costumes. Mm -hmm. They play with the same equipment that the Beatles did. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really a good time for everybody. And uh, unlike some tribute bands, uh, and if you're a Beatles aficionado or a lover of the Beatles, uh, Studio Two, oh, by the way, Studio Two is named after the studio that the Beatles recorded in in Abbey Road. Piece of trivia for yes. you there. Uh, they are faithful to one period, the early years. Yes, right? early Beatles, sort of up, to the, up through and including Rubber Soul. Mm. They don't get into the, like the, the psychedelic era. Yes, right. And that's a real shift. And uh, I've seen many bands that are tribute bands. And the, uh, the fact that they're faithful to that one era, which was the explosive era for them, and right. if it includes Rubber Soul, it was the first time that they got off that pop music kick and went more introspective. So, yeah. very interesting time period. And again, the band is terrific using instruments, the same instruments that the Beatles used during, during that period. Yes. Uh, you've also got what I consider, and a lot of people consider, to be two of the best original bands in our area. So, who's coming? Yes, uh, on the 20th, we have the North and South Dakotas. Right. Uh, great local band. You know, uh, rock, roots rock, roots rock, country, little, you know, combination of everything. Just very talented. Mm -hmm. If you've, you know, been out and about this summer, mm -hmm. you, you might have run into them else, elsewhere. And on the 27th, to close out our season, Searcy, yeah. who are local favorites for a long time. Uh, you know, a two-piece, but they sound a lot bigger than that. They're just so talented and they really get the crowd going. We're looking forward to that. You know, we've had experience firsthand with that. Our music show, Tracks, which is our most popular show, uh, North South Dakota's blew a heads off. We had just, and that lead singer, he's got that voice, you know, one of those really amazing Very voices unique. that you think to yourself, how's he singing that? But uh, North South Dakotas are just fantastic. And Cersei, I'm sure you know about Cersei. You're right. Two people putting out that kind of music, original music, with Melly's voice is just over the top. You're really getting some good music. Who, who gets the music? Well, I'm the committee chair and kind of take the lead on, on booking the bands. Mm -hmm. I have other help from, from other committee members. Um, you know, a lot of it is just 
keeping relationships with people that we've had in the past, like Circe, mm -hmm. they're a perennial favorite for concerts in the park. And then getting out to see bands and, and meeting them and, and seeing if we can you know, work it out with them. And we've had mm -hmm. good luck with it. Also. Now, the concert series, of course, is organized and put together by the Boston Spa Business and Professional Association. Yes. That's a very interesting group, really helping to promote downtown Boston Spa. Yes. Yes, and as we know, Boston Spa, especially in the last five years, just rocketed up. What a great little community Boston Spa is. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is on Thursday nights between now and August 27? Yes. Okay. Uh, Thursday nights in the park. It's early at 6 to 8 p.m. Grab some lawn chairs, bring the kids and show them what the Beatles were like. <laughs> yes. And here in North South Dakota's and Searcy. Uh, what a wonderful combination. Well, Steve, thanks very much for coming in and I'll see you on Thursday night. Excellent. Thank you. you. Yeah, I'll be the old guy in the back going, I know that. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, Steve. Thanks. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.